What's up guys? Day nine, no fat. Uh, phenomenal day today. Uh, I'm exhausted. It's the end of the day. Uh, had a killer massage this morning. Uh, went to the gym and had a freaking brutal workout and then swam for an hour with my son. Went and played volleyball tonight. I mean, just a day full of activities. Um, in this video, I really want to talk to you about, uh, you know, why you're watching this video. Um, I believe that if you're watching this video, you are exactly where you need to be. Um, so back in, back in 2006, that's when I took the red pill. Uh, I mean, I remember in 2006, actually 2005, I was really depressed. Uh, I was actually suicidal. I bought a gun from a guy that I worked with and I was going to kill myself. And, uh, you know, I, I ended up not going through with it. And then, you know, very shortly after, um, one of my best friends that lived with me was smoking cannabis at my house and I'd never smoked can I mean, I smoked cannabis once when I was in junior high, didn't do anything. Uh, and then I hadn't, I, I never, it never even came across my field again until I was 25. And so I was at this really, really low point in my life and uh, I ended up smoking cannabis with him and it just, it was like a quantum leap in my conscious evolution. Uh, changed my whole entire life, changed the, traje the trajectory of my entire life. And then shortly thereafter, that same friend told me that if I, I would eat mushrooms, then that would change my life. And so I ate mushrooms and that really changed my life. Um, and that's when I really took the red pill. And, uh, you know, in 2006, actually March 25th, 2006, I remember it. I mean, it, it's, it's burned into my brain. I had a trip where I saw into the future. And this might be a little bit, uh, you know, way out there in left field. Um, but I've seen it, my life play out, is that I saw a great evolution. That there was a big evolution coming. And I had a big part to do in helping that evolution. And helping people wake up to that evolution. And this was in 2006. Okay, and so ever since then, man, my life has just been on this very interesting roller coaster, very interesting journey, I should say, of evolution. I got obsessed with the Mayan calendar. And, uh, you know, in my research of that calendar, I came across a guy named Ian Lungold. And Ian Lungold was a... Uh, I think it was an amateur uh, anthropologist, but he was obsessed with the 2012 calendar. And what he discovered through his research was that the 2012 calendar was a calendar of consciousness evolution. Think about this. Let's go back thousands of years before fucking YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, before all these distractions in our life. When all we had to do, when life was much more simple and we could sit and we could count time and we could track time and we could track the stars. And while tracking this time over long periods of time, we started to discover patterns in that time. And when we discovered these patterns, we found that things would happen on specific days in the cycle, 365 days, one week, one month one day cycles and the Mayans even would count 26,000 year cycles and what he discovered was even in their their pyramids were a reflection of this calendar and the 2012 calendar you know December 21st 2012 or whatever the date was that really doesn't matter it, what it signifies is that we were going into the galactic consciousness. And if you'll notice, Elon Musk, um, Jeff Bezos, you know, Richard Branson, they're all talking about leaving the planet. 
our consciousness is becoming galactic, where we're thinking about, hey, let's get off of this planet. I believe that's where, you know, those ancient civilizations went to. They learned about stargates and they learned about this inner world that we already possess. And the only way to access this inner world is by certain practices. And one of those practices is semen retention. And Ian Lungold talks about in his video that in this galactic consciousness, you have to learn to start living from your intuition. You have to start learning to live from your heart rather than from your mind because the mind is, um, it is based in the material world, the solid world. And we already have so much data coming into our conscious mind that the conscious mind is overwhelmed already with the amount of data that you have coming at you right now. Your consciousness is already overwhelmed. So you have to, a part of this evolution is to learn to live from the intuition, is to learn to live from the heart and to be led from the heart. But the masculine heart and the feminine heart. And the feminine heart. Okay, there's a lot of promiscuity going on with women going out there and just having sex, meaningless sex, finding validation through sex. And this is for both men and women. Okay, we're, we're, we're losing, we've, we've mistaken love for lust. Okay, sexual desire is not love. Sexual sex is not love. It's lust. It's biological. Love is spiritual. And we have, we've lost connection to our hearts as a species. And I believe one of the, one of the reasons why we've lost connection with our heart is because we've drained ourselves of our sexual energy, our life force energy. And so our heart chakra is depleted. And so I'm telling you, I believe that if you're watching this video, you are exactly where you need to be. Evolution is not guaranteed. Darwin would say this. A natural selection would say this. Evolution is not guaranteed. If you're not willing to exercise your will and if you're not willing to make this a part of your life, if you're not willing to overcome this poisonous habit that you've been indulging in for decades, then you lose the game. You're going to lose long term. You are going to lose to your own addiction to sensuality, to the physical senses. It is time to connect to the inner world, to the non-physical senses. And one of those inner physical, inner senses, non-physical senses is your intuition. And it's your imagination. We need to start learning to live from those things. And then our life well, then will we, because the heart, the intuition is infinite. It has an infinite amount of bandwidth. In fact, it's not even connected to the physical. It's connected to the non-physical infinite realm. And so I believe that there is a, a source from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the inner spaces of the, the universe. And right now, that force, that source is flowing to you and it wants to flow through you, but it can't because you have clogged yourself up or you've depleted yourself. You've clogged yourself up with negative poisonous images and desires, sensual. You're living too much through the senses. And so this practice is going to clean out the pipes. It's going to clean out your karma. And it is going to fill you up. It is going to refill all of the chakras. Starting with the base, the root chakra. Moving its way up. 
I believe that there's an evolution happening. And I know this video is a little bit woo woo. It's a little bit out there in left field, but this is this is what I'm really into. I've been into I've been studying this obsessively. This is my life for the past 13 years. This is my 13th year. Very auspicious year for me. 13, magical, magical number. But I want to help. I want to serve. I want to inspire others. Because if I inspire you, then you'll inspire others. And then we can create a chain reaction. So I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for this little boy that's sitting out there watching his iPad right now. I'm doing this for the future generations. I'm taking back my masculine energy. Are you going to join me? That's all I got for today. I'll see you on tomorrow.